fun Just for a moment I thought that I would play the guitar and just strum But it seems to all be gone Fucker Now we all know Progressive offers 24-7 protection, but we also bundle outdoor vehicles with home and auto to help people think more. or a decimal. 
It's still fun, you know. Our house seemed like a dream come true. Great character, great neighborhood. Until Mrs. Cashman started feeding the neighborhood cats. All the cats. We need to move right now. With Rocket Mortgage, we can adjust our home loan options in real time. Customize our monthly payment, down payment, and closing costs. Please. And no cats. It was a catastrophe. Just no. When you need control over your home loan, Rocket can. NFL Network is here for three exclusive Thursday night games. How good is that? And a special Sunday morning game live from London. That's big time there. The exclusive live game starts September 16th only on NFL Network. This preseason, take football further with NFL Game Pass. Catch every rookie debut. Welcome to the NFL. Big names in their new homes. And get all the action for the upcoming season. NFL Game Pass. In the fourth quarter of preseason game number two, a game that's been dominated tonight by the New England Patriots. And once again, their offense is on the field. So you played the game. You know what these games are like. What is the takeaway from tonight and from this week? Well, the takeaway from this week was that things went very well Monday and Tuesday when it was ones against ones and twos against twos. The takeaway from tonight is that it's been ugly. And even when it was the Eagles twos against the Patriots twos or the threes versus threes, like right now, it hasn't gone very well. So you can decide how much that matters to you. But ultimately, what really matters, and we all know this for Nick Sirianni this year, is how his ones do against the other team's ones. And we really didn't get to see the Eagles ones tonight to see whether or not they could take a step forward from last week. I think, though, talking with him yesterday, he certainly felt like they took a step forward in the two joint practices, which he called basically simulated games. That's how they play them. And, and again, there's a fumble. Pretty good. I'm loving this. Everything is different than anybody we've ever seen before. If it happens in this league, we're all here for it. It's on. Oh, are you kidding me? Caught in the end zone. Incredible. NFL Network. We're here for football. Yeah. Oh, wait. It's going to be a good one. The official Eagles Pro Shop is the place to go for all your Eagles apparel needs. Eagles Pro Shops are open year-round. Be sure to stop by any of our three brick-and-mortar stores located in Cherry Hill, Lancaster, and at Lincoln Financial Field. Take a look at Raekwon Williams right here. Watch him the whole play, okay? We were saying the Eagles needed to make a play. These guys are all fighting for jobs. He gets in the backfield. Watch the hustle. Watch the effort. Boom! Right there comes in and strips it. I love it. He was an undrafted free agent last year. Just watch him chase him down. He's not giving up. He's still fighting. 
You better believe the coaches will notice that. And so the Eagles take over at the 21-yard line. Another try for Nick Mullins. Scrambling out of harm's way and dumping it off to Stoll across the 30. That's going to be good for a first down of the 32, an 11-yard pickup. Stoll's got a bunch of catches now. He was one of the most highly paid undrafted free agents for the Eagles out of Nebraska. 657 yards and six touchdowns in his Nebraska career. Four catches here tonight. Sit down. I am sitting down. They couldn't have been talking to us. <laughs> Trying to get it in there to Stoll once again. And second down coming up with 6.07 to go. You talked about ones against ones. So here's a question. Will we get to see ones against ones before the preseason is over? Because you never know how teams like you pointed out earlier with the three-game schedule are handling things. So what are the Jets going to do next week? And what are the Eagles going to be doing next week? I have no idea. I mean, he's trying to get a job, whether it's active roster or, or practice squad for 9200 bucks a week. Watch him finish the run. This is what he did in Georgia. I'm not going out of bounds. Boom, get some. Shoulder right up in the chin. I like that. Got close to knocking him over, making the angry run segment. Love it. So the first down gets him out to the 45. Bouncing it outside with a quarterback leading the way. There you go. Mullins had to turn it to a blocker, and he helped key a 20-yard run. Big-time cutback by Holyfield all the way against the green. Watch him. He's going to go here and go, whoop, go all the way back. Nope. Go all the way back. Good job by Stoll on the backside. Get in there, Mullins. Hit him. Yeah. I like it. Come on, Elijah. I got you. These guys are showing some spunk. That Raekwon Williams forced fumble gave these guys some energy. Let's get some points on the board. That's what they would love to be able to do before this final five minutes expire. Corner one more time. Taylor's on that. Put it down. Holyfield. Oh, got every play. This time gets hit. And dumped at the end of the play by Malawia. I am dying to say down goes Holyfield every time he gets back. I'm not going to do it, though. I'm not going to. All right. I'm happy he's getting these reps, though. I'm happy he's getting a chance to do what to do. He just got more depth now in the backfield. 11 yards a carry at this point. That's going to be cut into the yards of carry. Lost a couple right there. As the Patriots defense stands up a bit now as we close to the four-minute mark left to go. You know, one of the things I love about the preseason, Scott, is the stories of some of these guys. Harry Kreider, undrafted rookie from Indiana, type 1 diabetes. He's a type 1 diabetic. Died goes back when he was 10 years old. Can't even imagine how hard that's been for him to be able to keep his weight like that. Start a bunch of games in Indiana, get a shot in the NFL. A lot of work done by both women, but he'll take down the league. Why don't we settle this guy right here, brother? You want this belt? Come and get it. Take it right, Jack. He's your brother. Stop here T-Mobile for Business, unconventional thinking means we see things differently, so you can focus on what matters most. Whether it's ensuring food arrives as fresh as when it depends, being first on the scene when every second counts, or teaching biology without a lab. We are the leader in 5G, number one in customer satisfaction, and a partner who includes 5G in every plan. So you get it all, without trade-offs.
Unconventional thinking. It's better for business. Bring the fam to Red Robin for the joy of free refills of crispy bottomless fries. Or enjoy Red Robin to go after a long day of going bottomless at home. Dean Virgin is the one who gets called for it. This way onward was life changing. The program definitely molded me to the person I am today. Oh my <laughs> God! You're a general manager. Man, that's amazing. I am so in shock right now. <laughs> Your journey will allow other people to say, I can do the same thing. Through this way onward, Old Navy will provide 20,000 jobs by 2025. Los Angeles is amazing. It's a sci-fi movie. It's an action movie. It's a comeback story. 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 This return is powered by you. New York is back, and so are fans of the USA. Be part of the greatest return. Yesterday, after walkthrough was over, Zach Ertz was the last guy on the field, catching pass after pass after pass. PFL is live from South Florida's iconic Qatar Hotel at Simple Hard Rock Hotel in Casino, Hollywood. Home to the PFL playoffs, and on October 27th, our 2021 PFL World Championship. Hey, our first NFL preseason game has came through to two stations on Flip King. A year ago, we were talking about how he wanted a reportedly a new contract. Four stations. Like Kittle and Kelsey. One tap. One tap. It's unbelievable how you have one injury plug here. And all of a sudden, people start to forget about you. That's why Gert's going to have a really good season. 6,000 yards, 36 touchdowns, of course. Take a look at the rich energy replay for this close fight. Would set off in the second the biggest round, football job celebration that this town has ever seen. Strong and landing on top. Nice overhand right. We reach the two minute warning. Right on the jaw. And there's the knees from the clinch position. Patriots up big. Lotta doing a nice job. Mr. Bush, you see breakfast somewhere else. Then you drive Wendy's breakfast. Now we can't get rid of it. Can you believe this round two to Taylor Gardano, one and three go to Mariana Marais, where she had the big hip toss takedown. That brought to you by Rich Energy. Let's check out the Vertic Global Scorecard with Vertic the fans. Get to be judge. Oh, okay. The Vertic Global Scorecard. Three round one and two to Taylor Gardano, round three to Mariana Marais. What are our experts doing there? Experts are in the generous <laughs> turn. <laughs> FBR says Mariah. Fanfold says Gargano. Randy says Gargano. Kenny says Mariah. These two can't agree on anything. <laughs> Lillian Garcia has the official Thank judge's you. decision. That was fast. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judge's scorecard. Judge Elian Rodriguez scores the contest. 29-28 for Mariah. Judge Michael Tate scores it. 29-28 for Cardano. And Judge John Rupert has it. 29-28 for your winner by split decision. And clinching the spot in the 2021 PFL World Championship. Second year on draft, the guy to really have their best drive of the night. Now, when you take a look back at the things that we saw tonight that were positive, there's no doubt that seeing a rookie top draft pick on the field starting to just show a little bit of what he can do is one of the big takeaways. There's no question. I mean, Scott, when he hurt his knee a couple weeks ago, 
I didn't know if he'd play in any preseason games. The fact that he was out there tonight and looking good is a great sign moving forward because that means he'll be well healed in advance of week one. This is what he did at Alabama. Consistently separates. He got a ton of space on that throw from Flacco. And the Eagles need that so badly. They need a guy like Devontae Smith that can get open consistently as a route runner. Rager's got a ton of physical ability. We know Watkins can fly. But they need a polished route runner that the quarterbacks can feed when they're really desperate to know somebody's going to be open. Devontae Smith did a nice job getting open tonight. It's funny, you look at the three of them together, and we talked about this with Quez. The fact that they're young means that they kind of have to push each other, not just on the field in terms of their accomplishments, but in the film room, trying to get better as players. And he said that that's exactly what they're doing as a group right now. And it's going to be interesting to see how that blossoms over the course of this season. Now that, remember next week, they'll be back on the field again in joint practices up in Flora Park, New Jersey with the New York Jets. That's Tuesday and Wednesday. And they'll have their regular walkthrough on Thursday, and we will reconvene with them next week. MetLife Stadium in the Meadowlands for the final preseason game. More than just striking to make this happen and have so much Patriots are taking a knee. We will see you October 27th right here in the Spark Cage. After that is done with the Jets, you get the break, the extra break this year, because of just three games. And the season begins at Atlanta, home against the Niners, at Dallas, and then home against the Chiefs. Even though you're looking at three losing records on there, that is not an easy beginning of the season. No, it's not, because the 49ers should be much better with their starting quarterback back and or Trey Lance. The Cowboys should be much better with their starting quarterback back. Dak Prescott, and even the Falcons, I think, have too much ability to be 4-12 like they were last year with a quarterback like Philly native Matt Ryan. So you got those first four, and we'll talk... Hey, don't quit Next week, job, about what the rest of the schedule looks like for Nick Sirianni in his first season. Long, long year. Lots of football to play. A little bit of a smile and a little bit of relief from Devontae Smith to get on the field. And these two men who did a lot of work together in advance of this week and through this week wrap up New England's visit to Philadelphia. So join us next Friday at 7 p.m. as the Eagles travel to New Jersey to face the Jets. Stay tuned to NBC10 for the post-game show or go to PhiladelphiaEagles.com. For Dave Spadaro and Ross Tucker, I'm Scott Graham. Good night from Lincoln Financial Field.
the Philly side, all eyes on Devontae Smith making his debut here tonight. Uh, this is the next Eagles drive. Joe Flacco under center. Throws to the right side to Devontae Smith, but can't hang on to it. That back shoulder pass there. Mm. Okay, getting warmed up. We're going to get there as we go to the second quarter now. Eagles have the ball. They're trailing 13 to nothing. Flacco, let's go. Yeah, that first one was his first catch in his preseason action. Um, he came up big there on third down in the play you just saw there. Uh, look at him on the sideline just digging into that playbook, making sure he's always studying. All right, Mac Jones, let's go. We're back. Second quarter here, Patriots ball, leading 13 to nothing. Right the lead. Here, Connecting there with the kill, Harry. You want 19 Come again. on that play. Oh, Harry actually would leave the game after Take being taken up Jack. later in the game. Oh, Same drive here, Jones, Sony Michelle, the Duke of the Paris, but Jones making the right decision so far in this game. Stand up to moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis and take uh, it on uh, with the uh, bow. Picking up where he left off Rinzo, here. Four plays later, second and seven. A ripped one over uh, Rinzo Gunner. Rinzo helps pain, Gunner. pain, stiffness, and the swelling. And for some, Rinzo pain was significantly it was reduced. All R.A. All night. That's Rinzo not even close. With yeah, R.A. overactive immune no, system great. attacks so your joints, Rinzo regulates it to help stop the attack. Wow. Revoke can lower your That's ability to fight Mike infections, Garofolo. including oh, tuberculosis. Serious infections and blood clots, sometimes fatal, James, have occurred. James, what a night for your backfield. You got J.J. Taylor, Ramon Gray Stevenson out there. Everybody making plays out of that backfield. What's the thing about the depth back there for you guys? Tell your doctor about any infections, and if you are, or maybe come pregnant while taking Rinzo. They're coming out here having a couple of things. Take on, all right. Talk to your rheumatologist. Talk to your rheumatologist about Rinzo. Maybe it's something that's going to be J.J. Uh, Ramondre, everybody want to come out here perform well, and they did that. Oh, Let's talk you about your quarterbacks. Let's start with Cam Newton. Look as comfortable as we've seen him since he's been in New England. What, what, what impressed you the most about him tonight? Well, we started fast. He commanded the offense. Thank you. And then we got a turnover on the first drive. Two more plays he scored. Coming to that drive. Wow. He's going score again. A good pass by him. So, I mean, I think it's all of us working together, building that chemistry. And just trying to start fast and execute. And then you got Mac, he comes in, he looks like he's very much in control. Some of his most impressive passes were incompletions. What impressed you about him tonight? Well, he's poised. Uh, he comes in ready to work each and every day, willing to learn. Right. Playing quarterback is not an easy position. Right. But he comes in, <laughs> learns, puts in the work, puts in the extra time, and he's coming out here competing. All uh, right, joint practices in a game here in Philly. You're leaving, you get the head back Nothing. home finally. Nothing. How do you Nothing. feel leaving here? Do you get the work done here that you want to get done? Well, definitely, definitely leave here feeling good. He said two good days of practice. Let's finish it off with a win. That's what we talked about. Coming out here, executing, carrying over what we did in practice of the game. Thank you, everybody did that. James, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Ah, oh, the Patriots just very subtle, very casual. Nice to end. Restreams converge in one. Nice ice and rather to a nice Lawrence productive a week wobble. for the New England Watch Patriots. Willie and Kurt, and uh, folks they look good. Family. The Patriots <laughs> they did. They had me like a trout getting tickled. That's a busy bundle for you. We'll Watch get there. Uh, I want to sort of do the comparison plus, here with Cam Newton and Mac Jones. Um, as we saw, it's this is what Bill was looking at clearly. Cam Newton had his best completion bundles. percentage in a preseason game. Three pass attempts of 10 or more air yards. His highest passer rating in a preseason game since 2016. Mac Jones, 13 of 19 uh, in each of his first two season games. But no passing touchdowns. Right now, or no interceptions in each of those. So what's your takeaway from these two beats tonight, Kurt? Well, looking at Cam Newton, is that we go back to last year and everybody was wondering, coming off the injury, didn't seem like he could throw the ball down the field and make the big plays. And, you know, if you look at Cam Newton and you look at his history, you say, man, if he can't make the big plays, I'm not sure he's a starting quarterback in the National Football League because the way he plays, obviously he can run the football and be physical, but he was built on the big plays off the play action and getting the ball down the field, and you thought maybe he lost that. That's what I enjoyed.
point about tonight is that over 10 yards per pass attempt, he was throwing the ball down the field. He saw that zip in velocity. And now you say to yourself, okay, if you can bring all that other stuff with the weapons we have, the run game, and adding those pieces to the defense, give us a few big plays on the outside. I really like the chances this year. And if you're saying it, then I'm believing it. Because if, if a quarterback doesn't have the zip, you're going to call him out. You're going to talk about philosophy, velocity, uh, getting the ball in those tight windows and making the throws they need to make. And we talked about that uh, pregame. What do we need to see from Cam Newton? We know he can run the ball. Five running backs touched the ball tonight. They had 207 yards rushing. We know this team is going to run the football. Now, what comes off of that? You mentioned it, Kurt. The play action. That is so big in New England. If you look out the, the history of the championships and all the times they've won Super Bowls, they ran the ball almost 40% of the time. And it, the play action is built off that. Now, can you complete those passes? Is the arm okay? Is he seeing the field? Is he moving in the pocket? Yes, he did all that tonight. Now, I think the biggest difference when you look at Cam Newton and Mac Jones is versatility, okay? You can game plan and do a little bit more with Cam Newton in the run game, off of the run game. The threat of Cam Newton, Cam Newton excuse me, running the football is what the defensive coordinators and defenses have to worry about. That threat, not so much with Mac Jones. Although he moves well in the pocket, it's just not the same, Kirby. And, and again, I'll go back to Carolina when Cam was so good. Who was his main guy? Greg Olson. Right. The ability to isolate his tight end and make big plays. They got a couple guys that I believe they can do that with, and of course, Josh McDaniels. He knows how to use his tight end. They've been pretty good with tight end, so I look forward to when they all get on the field and we see exactly what this offense is, how they're able to use those second-level throws and those tight ends to make big plays. And this is not anything negative against Mac Jones. He's a good guy. And he's getting better and better every single week. But like I said before the show, they will not force him to be the starter. And they, if he's not ready and there's no reason to, you got Cam Newton there. He gave him a one-year deal. Uh, it was, in my opinion, a little unfair to judge him off of what he did not have last year based on what he has this year at his disposal. Do you feel a little sense of deja vu watching the offense out there tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's like the I'm not comparing anyway, it to any other offense that I'm playing with the Patriots. I'm never going to do that. The but yeah, with Cam Newton being Jamel healthy Jones, and having those weapons in the division, you need to have his two tight ends. They didn't play tonight, so uh, put all he the pieces together. Look pretty good. Look at the defense shot looks pretty good out there. They were getting after these All right, let's get yeah, our next play. Yeah, and I think that's the important part of what you talk about the Patriots and the success of having that balance. Having guys that can do that. 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 Having guys that can do you know, center of QB exchange, but get after the quarterback, get pressure. What if it's had a couple of sacks? You had some pressure on the quarterback, which they couldn't really generate. But when the one-on-one -on -one battles last year, they were getting after the quarterback and putting a lot of pressure. And then on the back end, Mills, addition, you know, guy from Philadelphia coming in, playing that slot and outside quarterback position. Um, good coverage. We know what Gilmore can do. We know what J.C. Jackson can do with Phillips. But other guys uh, that are now playing in those roles, everybody wondered what that defense would look like. And they went out there and they made plays. Uh, they got off the field on third down. Uh, they stopped long and drive down the, you know, Bruno Philadelphia Cassano getting the end zone. And if you got both sides working and balanced like that, it's going to be really good. Capilosa and you know I'm an XO guy. And you know Belichick loves Lola's to play man-to-man. Right man yep. He feels like he's got those guys on the back end that can play man-to-man. But... It doesn't matter how good you are on the back end. If you can't get pressure, you're playing man to man. There's opportunities for big plays. And so that to me has always been the thing that New England, or at least over the last few years, they've had to create their sacks with stunts and blitzes. They haven't had guys that can get home individually. That's what I'm excited to see this year is Matthew Judon taking some of the pressure, maybe taking some double teams, giving some other guys some opportunities. Because if they can get one on one pressure with those guys, there's no question they've got the defense on the back end to have a really, really strong year. We saw how aggressive they were on the offseason. And you talked just, just these two guys, Matt Judon and Jalen Mills, two of their free agent acquisitions, going out there immediately, showing why it was so important to get them. All right, guys. We are off and running for week two, y'all. And this was just the first of eight games that you can watch here for preseason week two on the NFL Network. Tomorrow, all about Bengals and Washington. We'll take you straight through Saturday, a quadruple header and a nice two-piece to round out your weekend on Sunday. All right, plenty more to come as we continue here on NFL Total Access. Cam Newton showing off tonight. Smart highlights for the Eagles. Four inches in the arm for Bruno Capelosa. John Tyson's motto was, when better chickens are hatched, we will hatch them.
It's why all of the Tyson chicken that bears his name is raised with no antibiotics ever. Every nugget, strip, and drumstick. And the key of every fight count. And we continue now in the semi-final in the heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the corner, he is the inboxer. Yes, and yes, it's mobile banking at its best. Open an account at go2bank.com. Introducing Domino's new two-minute guarantee for Domino's car side delivery. Check in when you arrive, and we'll be headed out the door less than two minutes after it's ready. Or your next pizza is free. Nothing can stop us from getting out the door fast. Rain, snow, wind, Carry out three topping pizzas for $7.99 and put our two minute guarantee to the test. Print. And 17 professional fights. Print, print, print. Send it to Just print. Do you suffer from cartridge conditions? Being condition free. Thanks to the cartridge free Epson EcoTank credit. A ridiculous amount of ink. Up to two years of ink comes in the box. The EcoTank is the perfect cure for it. Do I look like a money treat? The Epson EcoTank. Just really chill. Available at... We finally found the perfect house. Yeah, we couldn't believe the deal we got. Just lucky, I guess. At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. Saving us so much money. For bundling made easy, go to Geico.com. Tomorrow on NFL Total Access, we're taking you right up to kickoff of Cincinnati, Washington. Plus, Death Prescott's shoulder and the Cowboys are under the training camp spotlight. Tomorrow, 7 Eastern. is brought to you by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Only pay for what you need. All right, find out who the players think are the best in the game. They voted, of course, and we get to reveal the top 100 players of 2021. That's presented by Crown Royal. Starting Sunday, 4 Eastern, following the live preview of the game. And there's a hope and it's all All right, let's get you back to the game day action. Uh, pretty nice Patriots team. This game, that man right there, keeping a close eye on his QB. Cam Newton starts tonight. First quarter, Patriots ball leading 7 nothing. It's Cam to Jacoby Myers right on the middle for the touchdown. Patriots lead 13 to zip after that. Eagles fans looking for this man, Devontae Smith, getting his first NFL season action. Uh, Eagles ball trailing 19 yards and nothing. So, Flacco comes first. Devontae Smith for a first down. 10 yard gain on that one. He's called a pivot option round, sir. He's called a pivot. He's called a pivot. I like it. Nice round. He went to the quarterback, and Devontae went to the opposite. There it is. Trickery. Back Jones in for the Patriots. The second quarter here, back Jones and the heel carry for a gain of 19 on that play. Listen, he has scored in both of these games so far for the Patriots. All right, we're in the third quarter now, y'all. Patriots ball leading 19 to nothing. Matt Jones to a touch seat. This drive. Similar, I'm wondering what you're thinking here as you're watching Matt Jones play. Once again, it looks good. Making good decisions. Making good decisions. Stand in the pocket, taking what you need to get in line. Not forcing the ball. Doing all those good things that we've seen past Patriots do, right? A little hint. A little bit of what were you? I like it. In the end, Patriots dominating fashion here. 35 to nothing. The final score. Uh, Max Jones, 13 to 19, 146 yards. Um, listen, they look good out there. The Patriots doing well. The Eagles, it was a rough one. Um, what did, what did really, what do you think was the big confusion? Aside from the fact that Jalen Hurts was a late scratch, we thought he was going to play. We're going to get to that, and we're going to hear from Coach Sirianni in a little bit. But as you're watching Flacco out there, Nick Mullins coming in after him, um, 
There's a lot to work on. Yeah, Kurt, besides the scratch. Well, I, I think, uh, <laughs> what you're looking at, though, is, is different teams approach preseason different ways. And you're never really sure why or the theory behind it. But the Patriots, you talk about, we saw all their backs. All their backs touched the ball. They had the playmakers. Nikhil Harry was in the game. Jacoby Myers scored a touchdown. Cam's playing. Then you flip it to the other side, and half the offensive line's not playing, the two tight ends aren't playing, Saunders isn't playing, obviously Jalen Hurts it. And so you go into those games, and obviously you want to build confidence, and you want everybody to play well. But it's hard to really know what do you take out of that game when you don't play your guys. And again, New England plays their guys. Does that benefit them a few weeks from now when they play week one, whereas Philadelphia doesn't because they didn't play their starters? I just don't know how much you can read into it when you don't have your starters playing the guys you expect to be starting or playing week one. And a lot of these teams feel like they get a lot of work out of the practice when they scrimmage right. against other teams, right? So you get those one-on-ones, you get those situations that you can create, and it's a controlled practice. It's not really in a game environment, but you really get that really game one-on-one -on -one against another team. So maybe the theory here is that we got enough work during the week for certain guys. We saw what we needed to see. But Kurt, in my opinion, there's still nothing like in-game, real game situations with the clock, the crowd, uh, the things you can't control, the momentum swings that happen in football, you can't simulate that in practice, right? even when it's controlled. So I think when you're getting ready for a season and you got a lot of new pieces and you got a young team, and you mentioned it, this was a great point by you, it's not a rebuild. Right. It's not a rebuild. This kid right here is a new player who's going to come in, Devontae Smith, and impact this team right now. He needs to be with the number one guy who's going to take those snaps week one, okay? It's not a rebuild. They got pieces in every position. The tight end, they got three good running backs. They got an offensive line that's tough. They got receivers that are young that they need to get on the same page with. And the defense is solid. So this isn't a rebuild. So what is the goal here if you're the Philadelphia Eagles and you're getting ready for the season? And a big part of it is knowing your players. You know, there's some players that don't, don't have to play a snap in preseason. They'll be ready for the regular season. There's other players where you go, Oh, that guy's a rep guy. He needs to see it. He needs to feel it. This happens. That guy does this. I have to be able to react to it or I won't do it when it comes, you know, real football and it comes time in the regular season. So, new head coach, how well does he know this team and what these guys need for the season? Why don't we hear from him directly? All right, let's do it. Good segue. It's dry. Yeah, he, he came in. He wasn't feeling great when he came in. And uh, so we, we put him through pregame warm-ups. And he wanted to go out there and, and, and uh, go through pregame warm-ups. And, you know, he, still, he came back in. He still wasn't feeling good. And we uh, we evaluated him. Um, we, thought, we just decided that it wasn't in his best interest uh, to play uh, with what he was feeling. And, um, yeah, he's, we, we evaluated him. He's, he's fine now. He's doing okay now. But uh, that's, why, that's why we held him out. He uh, he actually went he went to the hospital to get evaluated um, for his for his stomach and um, like I said um, they came back everything's good and um, he's gonna be okay. He just had he had pain in his abdomen uh, and which you know for for a guy like that to tell us you know he's he's a tough guy and uh, so it, it must have been hurting him pretty good uh, for him to uh, to let us know about that. Plan that one offensive line just to start. Isaac and Jordan with Jalen at quarterback. Well, no, I th we, what we were gonna do, we, we were still we were playing that all by ear, and that was going, that was that was kind of up in the air of what we wanted to do. You know, we got some guys with a lot of experience on that offensive line, and so. I know we talked to those guys, those guys on the right side there uh, yesterday, and they were they were sore. They wanted to go, uh, but we just thought again in the best interest of, of them. Um, you know, they played two games essentially this week, and we just felt like we, they got a lot of good work, and they didn't need to they didn't need to go this third day in a row. Uh, after he was examined at the hospital, you know what? I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I didn't get that. I don't know. So.
without him playing in that final game? Uh, you know, next week we have two we have two practices against the Jets and two other practices. So uh, again, we'll evaluate how he's feeling um, these next couple days. But we again we get two practices against the Jets to further. Like I've said before, those are like those are like games. You know, those those practices, those inter squad uh, practices are like games. So he's going to be able to get two more there. So I'm pretty confident uh, that you know that we'll get a lot of good work against the Jets. All right. So if you're just joining us, uh, head coach Nick Sirianni. They're saying Jalen Hurts uh, was evaluated, said he had some abdomen pain, actually went to the hospital to get evaluated further um, for that pain in his stomach. I mean, listen, this is... Willie's not feeling it over here. Yeah, this, this is a lot of reason I'm around. You're grunting and groaning over here, man. What, what's, what's what are you thinking, I, Willie? I, 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 mean, I don't know. He, he didn't even know if he came back to the field after he went to the hospital and got evaluated. So I'll just say this. Essentially, this is true. We, we mentioned just uh, seconds ago that these practices against other teams are like game situations and they're one-on-ones and they're going full speed but they're controlled in this practice so if you're getting a lot of reps and you're getting what you need out of that then yes a lot of coaches will pull players so they won't have like like you said a third game which after two practices is like that i i get that but it's not a game and it's not the same the reporter did an excellent job by bringing up he was dancing, having a good time. If I'm in pain and my stomach is hurting and all those different things, I'm not dancing around pregame and doing all that, expecting to play fully uniform. You figure those things out before the game is played. If it's pregame, it's before. You come out, you work out, you're feeling something, you go out, you get evaluated by the doctors or the trainers, or you go out and see if you can do certain things. <laughs> if you can't, then you're scratching, you don't play the game. Um, and, but you're not dancing and having a great time like you're getting hyped up, ready to play. So I'm just confused, and I'll pass it to you and leave it there. All right, first thing, uh, you know, when, when Coach is talking about those joint practices, I think the other thing we have to remember, he's mentioned, he mentioned a couple of guys on the right side of the line that were a little bit sore. You got to remember the rules now. You don't have nearly as much contact, though, in practice as we did when we played. And so sometimes it takes some of that contact to work through the soreness in your body to get ready for it. So I can understand that part. I'm going to be devil conditioning of the body. Exactly. I'm going to be a devil's advocate to the second part because the way we play football, I know there was often times when you were hurt and nobody knew you were hurt and you went out and played a football game and nobody could tell that. And so I could say the same thing about Jalen Hurts. Like, hey, I'm trying to play this off. I'm trying to get in your play. I don't want anybody to know there's something wrong, even though there's something wrong. And now you come back and it's a preseason game and it's like, okay, it's a preseason game. Let's, let's let everybody know what's going on. I don't feel quite well enough to play in a preseason game. It's not that big a deal. Coach sits him down. So, again, just being devil's advocate. Could definitely be the case. Uh, well, listen, guys. Obviously, the Eagles not taking any chances. Actually, or Mike Garoppolo just tweeting that the diagnosis, according to Coach, was a stomach bug. Um, uh, Jalen Hurts reportedly getting an ultrasound there. And listen, if I'm the coach, I'm getting every single test as well for the guy poised, not named, but poised to be QB1. All right, listen. Lots of, lots of, a lot more storylines than we were expecting in here in this first of eight games and week two preseason action live on NFL Network tomorrow. Bengals, Washington. You got a four Pete on Saturday, quadruple header there for you. We rounded out with two more on Sunday. All right, the young QB out of New England, Mac Jones, trying to show what he's got there. We've got a lot more action from Patriots Eagles coming up next on NFL Total Access. Old Trevor Beats, last bag. <laughs> What's your beef? The airport it can be a real challenge for new homeowners who have become their parents. Okay, everybody, let's do a ticket check. Paper tickets. We're off to a horrible start, but we can overcome it. We're not going to point out our houses, landmarks, or major highways during takeoff. Don't buy anything. I packed so many delicious snacks that they're. Nope. You say ballpark when Group 2 is going to get where it is. Two hours and 58. Progressive can't protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you buckle with us. I should have left home earlier. We put a lot of stress on our feet. It's no wonder they ache. Introducing ArchFit from Skechers. ArchFit distributes pressure across the arch, providing balance and support to make walking more comfortable. The machine washable and available for men and women. ArchFit, new from Skechers. Introducing the new Bud Light.
Light Seltzer Retro Summer Pack. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, he's not still at the hospital. I do know that, so uh, I just don't know if he came back to the stadium. I'm assuming he did probably to get the car. I didn't see him after in the in the locker room. Um, so yeah, that's that's about all the information I have on that. It was a regular season game, Nick. You know, I think that's hard to say. He really wanted to play. He really wanted to play, and and we we decided that that just wasn't in the best interest of the team and of him. So. I think that's that's just that's a hypothetical. It's hard to say. He would he was trying to he was he was fighting me to play in tonight. So I know he would have wanted to, but that, that's where you just got to lean on the doctors too and 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 make a decision. And that's what we did. Just to clarify the offensive line. Uh, so going into the game, I have to, you said you decided this yesterday. It was going to be just the two starters. So I, I didn't say that. I just said we were still we were still thinking through all that. Um, we were gonna we were we were thinking they were gonna probably both play. Um, and then with Jalen's with Jalen's thing, we decided to give them a rest as well. You knew that's right. Like that's, when you that's right. Yep, yep. You said several times that the running back should be all right, meantime, uh, tomorrow's game, Friday night action. The Cincinnati Bengals headed to the DMV. Joe Burrow looks like he's ready to go, even though he is not playing. They posted this earlier today on their Twitter account. So that kicks off the action for tomorrow, which takes you right into the weekend. Quadruple header on Saturday right here on the NFL Network. Two more for you on Sunday. All right, time now for our training camp spotlight presented by Kick Pass. Willie and Kurt, this Bengals Washington game. We know that Joe Burrow's not playing, but there's still a lot to pay attention to here for the Washington football team, Willie. 
What's catching your eye? I want to see the consistency of what I saw with Fitz Magic last week. The way he was fluid in the pocket, moving the ball down the field, hitting receivers. Um, we talked about if he can do this on a consistent basis and having that defense, Kurt, this team is going to be pretty good. Yeah, they got a chance. They got talent across the board. And I, I'm going to look at the other side. And you said Joe Burrow's not going to play. I, I just sit back and wonder: Is he going to play at all before the regular season? Because I always want. I always like to play in the preseason. Coming off an injury, trying to get comfortable with that knee, with bodies around you. A lot of players like to say. I like that first hit, that first contact so I can settle in and mentally get ready to go. Will we ever see Joe Burrow? Yeah, just check it off. Get it out of the way. I feel you. I got what you're saying, Kurt. All right, that game, of course, we would preview here, take you all the way up to kickoff tomorrow. That game kicks at 8 p.m. Eastern. We got you covered right here on NFL Total Access. And, of course, all of games, eight total, not counting the one we just saw tonight. Uh, all right, we have a lot more highlights for Patriots Eagles, though. Keep it locked right here on NFL Total Access. Severe storm damage can cost you thousands in repairs. Hi, Phil Swift here. This storm season, you need the entire flex.